senior senior year opener, national TV. Is this does it start to feel like it's real now that it's game week? Uh, I think I don't think it's gonna hit me until we actually like go out there for warm ups, and then just being in Jerry World, that's when I feel like it's starting to go hit me there. There's been so much talk this off season about how much you guys on the offensive line will improve. Now that it's kind of finally here, you're ready just to go ahead and out there and prove that you guys have taken that step forward. Yeah, go prove the world wrong. So I'm ready for it. Tied in our defense, so ready to hit somebody else. How, how comfortable is it to have? I uh, miss a big confidence booster because you know, like when you're not having one of your best days, they're there to pick you up. So it's just a great feeling to have my brothers there next to me. Did you have a chance to watch a lot of the uh, Oregon defense and what have you seen so far? Um, electric. They run to the ball, real athletic, fast, come downhill. I'm excited to play against them. Good competition. Is it helpful on a Friday afternoon to have a walkthrough in a stadium you haven't played in before? or? been in one big dome, you've been seeing I feel like every stadium is different, but it's good to have a walk through Fridays because you get going there. Because this will be my first time going to Jail World, and like from what I heard, like it's amazing in there. So, to not get caught up in the big lights and stuff. I'd rather go in there Friday night, to, um, get the jitters out. You talked about they got a new defensive coordinator. How much have you had to, to, to balance personnel? who they are as opposed to watching maybe what he did at Boise State as well? Um, just watching film. We watched a lot of Boise State film just to try to figure out things here and there. But personnel-wise, like no matter who's the defense coordinator, how you show up on film is how you show up. So not worried about personnel-wise, but as far as like where to line up and alignments and stuff like that, that's what we have to focus on. Well, what type of uh, call did um, Jaleel Irvin have, and what does it say about him that he's the second team on the depth chart? Oh, man, Jaleel had a great fall camp. He came in. Just one of those guys that worked hard. He came in extra during the summertime. He was in there with me and Jack as well. It just went up old offensive lineman. So he came in and provided an extra backup, quality depth. What do you, what do you think about Bo Nix's demeanor and everything going into this kind of atmosphere? No, I think his demeanor is very well. Like I told you like in a um, previous interview, like he has that leader mindset in him and that we need it as a starting quarterback. So I'm excited to see him play, go out there and watch him. As, you an say, cool. as an offense, how things have been, like I said, when she's really started <clears throat> focusing on Oregon and, and can start to narrow down a game plan, does it help things run even more smoothly in practice as you get ready for a game? Um, I feel like just like as long as we focus on the thing that we need to focus on as far as like Auburn offense and focus on the things up front, and we're fine. Like no matter who we're playing, no shots to Oregon or anything, but like we focus on ourselves and everything else will be fine. Well, there's six guys listed as the co-starters running back. Can you talk about that group and what do you expect out of them? I think they're missing one more because I'm supposed to be starting running back as well. So, <laughs> uh, but now, nah, man, all those guys are talented. So I'm excited. Like whoever we have in the backfield, I'm excited to watch them play. Excited to watch them run. Is it the deepest group of running backs you've had since you've been here? Um, I think so. And it just goes to show that RBU real talented <laughs> running backs. Any more?